My name is Kendall Gears. So I'm presenting two works on the exhibition. Uh, there's the mirror, which is uh, a mirror with the words, here lies truth in burned wood. And the second piece are police batons, which are cast in glass and make the sign of a cross. So the, the, the batons speak about the, the relationship between church and state and how fear gets manufactured and how we succumb to the weaponization of the things that we're afraid of and how we get manipulated into believing something contrary that might be different if we had all the information. That's why the batons are transparent and that's why they glass. Because also if you use them, they break. So it speaks about the fragility of faith. It speaks about the fragility of power. There are a few moments in my life which are marked. I think we all remember where we were when um, the World Trade Center came down. And I will never forget when the WikiLeaks um, information became public. And it was this complete transformation of, oh my God, that is happening, that happened. Why don't we know about it? Why, why weren't we informed? Um, and it marked my life because one realizes that not everything we told is in fact the truth. That's why here lies truth is like the tombstone of the truth. I have said many times in various articles and interviews that the ability to speak is biological. The right to speak is political and having something to say, well, that's, that's, that's the role of artists, that's cultural. And I think that the case of Julian Assange is he's been denied the right to speak. I think this is the most basic human right, to be able to speak the truth, to be able to sp say things that need to be said, which are not lies or manufactured, but simply reporting the facts.